Ace Dampers, it's Gaina again, and I'm down to the W, which is the last one I've got in the collection that I bought from the pre-order, and it's this beautiful, wonderful romance. I've usually seen me use this one on the, the gift, the postal kit, card kits, uh, and I used it to a label on there, but I'm going to make a card with it, and I'm using this sentiment, thinking of you. Because I like thinking of you. I know we've got a little one there, but I want something bigger and bold. So I went with this one. I'll show you my card. I've just seen something very similar, but totally different, if you know what I mean. Um, on Pinterest, but there was no name on there. So I can't, I don't know whose was. We got the vellum as well. This comes in this beautiful vellum. I cut a sheet down to six by six today. And then sat and fussy cut every, even the ones on the side, I fussy cut every single one out. It took me about an hour, but it was worth it. Even all the tiny little flowers. And that's what's on the inside of the card. The vellum from round the sides, just to decorate the inside of the card as well. I can just see a little glue splodge there. There we go. So that's gone, and so I'll show you the pieces. I've got a few other corners or side bits, as I call them. These are the ones from the centre. There's all the flowers. These are the side bits. Just so I could add some decoration on the inside of my card. So I'll be using that one, that one, that one, and maybe the leaf as well. And then we'll be doing another card shortly with the other bits. But isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? The card itself is stunning. It's just gorgeous. I love it. Um, this has been run through the Subtles embossing folder. Just absolutely beautiful. And like I say, a, a nice thinking of you card. I think the lady had done something very similar, but she'd made her card... Her card itself... Oh, let me show you. She'd cut this out on the edge of her card and then stuck paper on the inside. But uh, I wanted to do mine different. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how I made it. It's so simple. First of all, I'm going to use my embossing folder and I've got the gorgeous mossy meadow. So, I'm going to swap plates. Using the Subtles Dynamic Folder, which is um, perfect for my card. You only need one plate, so I'm just going to run that through the emboss it in uh, the big shot. beautifully embossed isn't that beautiful it is a little bit longer than my actual card but we can trim that off right I did say about added I've added some double-sized tape and ta uh, double uh, glued this in and then any bits that were sticky I just dusted with my embossing buddy poked all the holes out and this goes through this card now so easy it's unreal I'll show you now what I'm going to do first of all is grab my ruler and pencil and I want to mark in one and five eighths across the top just a little notch and the same down the bottom You'll see why. So when I add my embossed piece, I 
want to make sure it's level. So I'm cutting it in a straight line and not like at an angle. If you know what I mean? So two seconds I will be. Just want to make sure that it's on the line and that one too. And I shall be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail <laughs> again. <laughs> I do put my card in at an angle, just so you don't get straight edge clunk. And I pass it there and back. Ta-da! So, just peel this off. It's so simple. You get the odd bit left in, but it's still relatively, I've only just done this with the double sided, so it's still a little bit tacky. And now I'm going to fetch in my brush. Just spin this over. Little bits are going to fly everywhere, but it doesn't matter. And this goes through so simple. And when I was doing it before without the fun foam inside, it was taking forever to poke every one of those little holes out. And it weren't cutting properly, but the foam tends to give you an extra shim. And it's brilliant. I've just got the add one or two just to poke out. Just check it. I think they're all gone now. Perfect. Just gonna get rid of my bits. There we go. And I can grab my rubber. And just run away with the line and I, I balanced it perfectly this time on the other card it gave me a big board at the bottom and chopped off at the top but this time it's just perfect so I just used uh, Whisper White for this I'm going to use my cheap white card to do my stamping and die cutting because you can't see the difference too much when you cut it out so I'm going to attach this. This now is going to go on my card. And then I'm going to chop off the excess. And I'm going to have it attached like that. This lady, I think, had done it. So it, uh, she had the other piece of the card, so it opened like that. And then stuck that on the inside of the inside bit. If you know what I mean. <laughs> so I decided to do it my way. Push that all the way to the top. We're going to glue that together, trim off the excess, and I think I've got to make sure. I think this might be a bit too wide. No, it's three and seven eighths, it's perfect. So I'm going to grab my glue and I'm just going to dot on the leaves. along the edge and then on it goes so I'm going to make sure it's nice and snug top and down the side I'm just going to turn over and give it a quick wrap Perfect. That's beautiful. I love it. So, in with my guillotine. And we're going to cut this down to five and five eighths. Perfect. There we go. 
be a little straggly bits on the end. But so that's just taken that little piece off that was over too too much. Love it. Isn't that beautiful. Oh my gosh. So in my stamparatus, I have. Let me just pop the lid on there. I have, this is the card I'm using for the flower. Carla, this is a bloody godsend. I tell you, I love it. Thank you, sweetness. And the corners are fabulous. So I'm using Memento because I'm going to be using my blends. And that is for... Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'll leave that to dry just for a tink, a second. Now I'm coming in with my card front. I'm just going to wipe that down. Because I'm going to finish with that one now. I can peel that off. And now I can take this off and it's already positioned for the bottom of my card because I want it nice and dark. May have to do this a couple of times but I think my battery's just about to die. There we go, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. My battery just died to death. So I've stamped it once. I've just re-inked again, just because I want a nice dark image. Just going to press that on. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. See, I can't do that with that stamp because uh, it's not photopolymer for one. I wouldn't trust myself for another. And those corners are fantastic, Carla. Thank you so much, my little angel. So there's my card front. It's just beautiful. I'll set that to one side. And that is out of Rooted in Nature. Love it. I can go back on the shelf now. So my stamparatus can go away. And I can be getting on with the colouring of that beautiful card. Um, I've just picked up my white cardstock and I must have smudged it somewhere. You won't see this bit anyway, it's going underneath. Underneath the card front, but uh, it's not the point. <laughs> so just gently folding this over. Edges are together, and then I can score. I like to score both ways. Keeps the card lovely and flat, so my card front can go on there. So just a few little bits that can go centralised on there. Just beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to use my double-sided tape. Because I know it won't come off. Beautiful. And then, I, now we're on to the last of the, the, car, uh, the stamp sets. I can just go and have free reign now and play, play, play and do it all over again. Don't have to be in order. I can just grab them. I just wanted to show what they were like. To play with. But I wanted to do it in order. 
I should have done it in order of the book, really, because uh, they're all scattered all over the place. So I can line this up. Check either side. Looks pretty good to me. Once it's down, I just pull off the other two strips and away to go. That beautiful. So I'm going to pop that to one side. Let's fetch in this beautiful, beautiful drawing. And I think, I'm not sure if that's rich raspberry, so I might use them this time. Because, let me just check. Oh, it's not in there. I, there is no white card with no um, thingy. So, fresh figs, mossy meadow, pear pizzazz, pink, petal pinks, how is that? Ah, oh, it's fresh fig, but we don't have them in the blend. So, I'm just going to... I'm going to stick to what I had so I know where I am. So I use the light and dark Highland Heather. Oh, gorgeous, great. No, Highland Heather it is for my flowers. And I just grabbed the dark. And what I did... I did I'm just drawing lines here. going in the centres. Remind me of little pansies. Quite a lot of foliage on this one. So that little hint of colour is just perfect. One, two, three, and then all the jip, as I call it, instead of leaving it white, I'm just going to colour it in. To add a splash more colour instead of having too much green. Beautiful. Tiny they are, really tiny. Seems to be a bit of a smudge there, but that's going to be cut away. I've been chopping paper. So I've got my card fronts ready. So I don't have to cut them all the time. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then with the light, I just gently went over the top. We're going to use our white pen in a minute, after I've coloured everything in, to pull some colour back out, just to give highlights and help blend. This bit. But it's worth taking the effort to colour these in and get it just right if you're going to send it to somebody special. And I only ever spend, send cards to people that I think are special. So that's our flowers coloured in. And I'm using the Mossy Meadow to contrast with the, the Mossy Meadow on my card base. So I'm just, I'm doing my shading first, my, and then I can blend it in. So 
Normally I add the lighter colour, then go back in with the dark. And this time I'm doing it the opposite way round. It looks a little bit dark at the moment, but it will all come together. Trust me, it's just wonderful. So relaxing. The thing is, I get carried away. Just adding shade where I think it should go. Got one big leaf left here. Shading going back there because there's a leaf there. Perfect. Okay, some bit of foliage going on down here. Some lines off the stems. Perfect. I think it's I can always go back and add more. So let's get our light going on. Quite a lot of foliage on this one actually, and it's beautiful. to blend it though. Relatively simple really, just adding the shade in the right places. it was easier to add the dark whereas before I trying to go around all the flowers oh it's beautiful just beautiful isn't that pretty that is so sweet so again what I did with the um, the white pen which lifts some of the colour up I used the thin end and uh, I just went round the tops of each of the flowers to brighten them back up. Make, take some colour out, only on these larger flowers. Clear the nib every now and then. And then I just using the side lightened some parts of the leaves. You can see the colour starting to lift. And it 
also blends the two in together. See how it's lightening the, the leaves up? Just absolutely beautiful. Love it. And I'm just going to go back over the tops of the flowers. To lighten those as well. Isn't that gorgeous? Just beautiful. I'm just going to grab that colour there and blend it in. Perfect. That is so pretty. And that's our flower uh, colouring done. Isn't that gorgeous? So, I have got the coordinating die. And it cuts all those little bits out in between. I will just now pop that through the dye machine. At a slight angle as well. Perfect. Oh, I could do with a, a manual one. Automatic one, should I say? So that does have bits in it as well, but you just poke those out. That just gets all those lovely little bits out where they've been taken out of the pattern. When I lift this up now, you can see all the holes. It's taking it in between all the flowers and the leaves is just so gorgeous. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals. I'm only using mini ones because there's nothing weighty going on this. I do might have to get uh, a couple because I need some half ones. Just fits on there perfect. I've got half one left there. It's going to fit there. Grab my scissors. I'm just going to cut these last two in half. Whoops. Stuck to my scissors. Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. <laughs> Never mind. I've got a gorgeous cup of coffee here. Which is now cold. <laughs> now fresh. So just removing all the back ends. my card front in and I want it swooping about there. I might come up a little bit there. Oh, absolutely adore it. Uh, I've got my 
Highland Heather ink pad. And I did use a little bit of scrap, which was here with the flowers on, because I was going to use those. Um, I just dunked and dabbed and went round just a very pale. Just in certain places. Nothing too over the top. And then I did it down the inside of my card. I'm going to spread these out a little bit more. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That can go away now. And then, you can't see the glue on these either. It's brilliant because there's colour. So, you've got a really dull side and a pale side. I don't think it really matters with this one. I'm gonna have this, and I just all I did was close my card to give to get the edge perfect. Just pushed it in. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. And if anything does stick up, just lift it up, put some more glue. Now you can't see it. It's absolutely marvellous. Whoops. I love this. Love it. This is going on. Perfect. I'm going to try and get it on the tip so when I put it in my card. And you can just... Any glue that seeps out will just, oops, see, I make sure it's glued down right to the end. This one is a top piece, so I'm going to add that right in the corner. Just closing it up. Oh, I love that. I'm not going to use the leaf, I don't think. Because of the way it's pointing. It would just overlap, so I'm not going to use the leaf on this one. But how beautiful is that on the inside of your card? Just wonderful. So we're going to be making another card with those, so they won't go to waste after me spending all that time cutting them out. Not a chance. Got some rhinestones. One, two, and three. Beautiful. I'm loving it. And on this one, I added a bit of Wink of Stella. There you go. See it on the leaves as well. So, uh, just dot in. The flowers. I did go over the jip as well, but just a little touch. Just to add a little bit of sparkle. 
and then just going over the inside where the leaf pattern is. Oh my gosh, this card is just beautiful. Perfect, and that's all I did. So that is, the, oh, my ribbon. Oh, can't forget that. So what I did was I got a length, enough say to tie a bow, twice. Be a little bit long, but what I did is just thread them under there, found the middle, tied it in a double knot because I didn't want it to come undone. And then just simply tied a bow. Oh, I love it. Love it. And I'm even going to leave them tails. They're pretty long, but I like that. Oh no, I'll just give them a quick snip. That is perfect. So, let's pull that in a little bit more. And there is my card. Oh God, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I hope you do too. I don't know why my lamp is not doing it. Oops, I'm banging everything, doing its job properly. I don't know. And then there was, oh, that's better. So, this is the card I made earlier. This is the one we just made. Loving the patterns on the inside. Just gorgeous. So, I hope you like. I absolutely adore this card. I think it's beautiful. And I hope you give it a go. So, this is the lovely, the wonderful, should I say, romance, which is absolutely stunning. What a fabulous bundle, and yeah, perfect as a starter kit if you wanted to join my team. Because uh, I would love that. And there's all sorts of these, oh, it's beautiful. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's 13 dies in here. Um, two, four, six, eight, beautiful. Um, stamps absolutely gorgeous and that designer series paper is something to die for that goes with just beautiful well I hope you enjoyed and I would love a thumbs up and a share and if you would like to press the subscribe button which would be amazing um, don't forget the little bell as well that way you'll be notified of all future videos I do my best to try and post every single day so come back tomorrow and see what I'll make tomorrow Love you all. Bye.